First, with $100, instead of the $1 that you had in our previous What $1 Will Get You Around the World episodes, you don't have to settle for buying one small can of dog food in Switzerland or living on a little over two pounds of potatoes in Gambia. Second, the value of the dollar is now high in several countries with a low cost of living, such as Colombia and Indonesia. Currently, $100 is worth about 291,600 Colombian pesos and 1,405,925 Indonesian rupias. This means that you can buy a few more souvenirs in these countries than you probably could a few years ago. What else can you buy for $100? That's what we'll find out in this episode of the Infographic Show, what $100 will get you around the world. With $100 in hand, you have a wide variety of food options. You could feast on street food for a few days. Using the prices from a travel blog, we calculated that for $100, you could buy 50 falafels in Israel, 30 arepas in Colombia, or 25 orders of jerk chicken in Jamaica. Depending on what country you're in, you and a friend could also afford to eat at a restaurant. According to Numbio, a three-course meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant in the United States would cost $50, but bargain prices for this same type of meal can be found in countries like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Nepal. According to Numbio, the cost of a three-course meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant in these countries is $10.69, $9.47, and $7.38, respectively. These prices reflect the low wages earned by workers in these countries. Numbio states that the average monthly net salary in Sri Lanka is $270.29, while it is $313.65 in Bangladesh and $211.54 in Nepal. People with a sweet tooth can get 40 Japanese Kit Kat bars or 48 bottles of blue bubblegum soda for just under $100. According to one news article, Japanese Kit Kat bars come in over 200 flavors, including strawberry, pumpkin, wasabi, and even soy sauce. Nestle, the worldwide producer of Kit Kat bars, sells a sampler of fruit-flavored Kit Kat bars in boxes of 10 for 2,484 yen or $22.68 on its online store in Japan, so you could buy four boxes for $90.72. The Blue Bubble Gum Soda is made by an American company based in Seattle, Washington. It is made with real cane sugar and fruit from bubblegum trees in Bolivia, according to the company website. A 12-pack of this soda costs $24, so you can buy four 12-packs for $96. Having $100 also gives you more transportation options. For about $100, you could take a 40-minute gondola ride with five other people in Venice. This is the official fare listed on the official Venice Gondolier website, but this price is negotiable and tends to be higher in the main tourist sections of the city. As a consumer, you're not helped by the fact that Italy has a slightly higher cost of living than that of the United States, according to Numbio, and that the euro is worth more than the US dollar. If you want to make sure that you stay under $100 for your gondola travel experience and don't mind a little exercise, you can take a gondola rowing lesson from Row Venice. This lesson will give you the opportunity to steer through some of the canals of Venice in a traditional all-wood Badalina boat. Row Venice charges 85 euros or $99.06 for a 90-minute lesson for one to two people, so you can cut the cost in half if you bring a friend along. There are a few tour companies offering submarine rides for under $100. One of them is located in the Canary Islands of Spain and offers three one-hour submarine tours that take passengers about 82 to 98 feet under the sea. With $100, you can afford to take even the most expensive of these tours, the North Tenerife Tour, without going over budget. The online booking price for this tour is $68 for adults and $40 for children. You can buy a little or a lot of clothing for $100, depending on what type of clothing you are buying and what country you are shopping in. In Bermuda, which has the highest cost of living in the world, according to Numbio, you can buy only one genuine pair of men's Bermuda shorts for $99. The purchasing power of your $100 is higher in Morocco, which Numbio states has a cost of living that is 51.38% lower than that of the United States. In Morocco, the starting price for an expensive kaftan is $25, according to a travel website, so you could buy four of them for $100. However, more elaborate kaftans will cost more money. One cultural website reports that a clothing shop in Marrakesh sells an elegant yet simple silk kaftan with beaded collars for approximately 900 Moroccan dirhams, or $94.67. To buy more clothing for $100, try shopping in the Philippines, where the average monthly net salary is $283.32, according to Numbio. The major street markets of the Philippines are the place to go if you like designer knockoffs and cheap wholesale merchandise that is mainly from China. One travel website states that in Manila's Divisiora market, you can buy a chiffon pleated dress for 150 Philippine pesos, or $2.81, and a Marvel superhero t-shirt for 120 Philippine pesos, or $2.25. At these prices, you could buy 35 dresses or 44 t-shirts for just under $100. 
For those who don't like navigating through crowds and haggling with sellers in the street markets, there are some good deals online too. For example, a Philippine e-commerce website called Lazada sells a pair of men's black stretch jeans for 366 Philippine pesos or $6.86, while an online retailer called Goods PH sells one woman's two-piece bikini swimsuit for 216.75 Philippine pesos or $4.06. At these prices, you could buy 14 pairs of jeans or 24 bikini swimsuits for just under $100. People who like sightseeing can take part in some interesting day trips that won't cost them their entire Benjamin bill. For example, TripAdvisor lists a variety of half-day and full-day tours to the Giza pyramids of Egypt for under $100. Many of them range in price from $30 to $50, and some of them even include a camel ride. If you love chocolate, there are a few day trips that include a tour of the Choco Story Museum in Mexico. Besides learning about the history of chocolate and how chocolate is made at the museum, you will get to visit the nearby archaeological site in Usmal and possibly the site in Kaba depending on the tour. The least expensive tour is $75.65 for one adult and $49.30 for children 5 to 12. However, be prepared to pay for extras or items not included in the price of all of the tours such as entrance fees, drinks, and gratuities. Finally, one unusual excursion under $100 is a glow worm cruise offered by a touring company in Bermuda. This night cruise departs from Grotto Bay shortly before sunset. After it gets dark, you can watch the ocean surface light up with a weird greenish glow as the male and female glowworms do their seasonal mating dance. Bermuda may have the highest cost of living in the world, but this cruise is actually quite affordable. It costs $79 for one adult and $69 for children under 10. Well, we hope that you enjoyed our $100 international spending spree. So, what can you buy for $100 where you live? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called How to Defend Earth Against an Alien Invasion. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!